Good morning, friends. I uh, thought I'd stop in and, and show you my latest junk journal. I did something real new, something that um, I was curious about, um, but I'd never tried yet, and that, that is using three-ring um, binder method. Um, this is for a commission. It's a wedding album. The first, uh, the cover photo is uh, Mrs. Cog image um, in her wedding kit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some vintage uh, doilies behind and some little uh, snowflake and another vintage doily behind it with a little uh, pearl button and a little bobble cluster here with a, a safety pin. And we'll just get through this fairly quickly. <clears throat> a little corner tuck here. I have little messages throughout the journal, wedding and marriage related. This one says, from this day forward. There's a extra place to journal here. And another Mrs. Cog wedding image. Thank you, Mrs. Coggs. Um, this is a, a decorated envelope with a tuck spot here. Another wedding image and a place to journal. Did some collaging. And this is kind of a fun little secure way to secure the envelope. <clears throat> Some more collaging. An old vintage bingo card. And I've clipped on a little coin envelope. Did a little collaging on the front of it. Little collector card that I found in uh, an old scrapbook from the late 1800s. And here's a treasure map. Maybe they'll go to Italy someday. The bride-to-be likes to go deer hunting, so we wanted to make sure we represented deer hunting in this journal. And this is a top tuck. Um, there's a picture of <clears throat> a little, little family here. Actually, it's my grandpa and his brother and sister. This is my grandpa, dressed as a little girl. I think that's how they did it back then, but I just love this picture. And here's a little, another tag with a place to journal. Okay, there are three of these particular pages within this journal. <clears throat> this is just a ooh la la French fashions. Another place to journal. Um, this was found in that uh, scrapbook. And you open this one up. Each one of these are decorated with some lace and a little bobble. This one has uh, a little heart. But you open these up and it's extra places to write. I left these blank, um, thought maybe the bride might want to put a, her picture, her bridal picture here, or maybe her engagement picture. She can do whatever she wants with it. And I found some love-related hymnal uh, titles. 
This one was O oh Love Divine, and this one is Be True, just collaged on top of an envelope. Here's a little extra clip if she wants to clip something there. This envelope top or flap is um, decorated with um, vintage lace and some buttons and a an old uh, safety pin and some embroidery floss. Pink was um, a color that was to be used. And here's some journal cards that are replications of um, old postcards. Here's an old, well, it's not old, but it's to look old, um, store bag. Um, and there's things I've tucked into the openings. Here's an old, um, a vintage looking card from Mrs. Cog. And some more writing space. And another vintage looking bridal image. Okay, do some journaling on the back. And some more journaling space. Here's another of the journal within a journal spots. I made an outside tuck here. You can also tuck something here if you'd like. Um, this was an old postcard that I found somewhere along the line. I scanned it and made copies of it, but I thought these looked like cute little flower girls, possibly. But there's extra journal space there. And another Mrs. Cog image. And then again, this opens up for more journaling space. These are decorated with um, lace, and here's a key charm on this one. Here's another message to the, the couple, happy, happily ever after. Um, we do. Here's another decorated envelope in the tuck spot here. Um, an iris, some more journaling space, an old postcard back, and something else that was found in that old scrapbook. Some more journaling space. Plus, there's a tuck spot here for more places for the bride to tuck some things. <clears throat> and here's another image from Mrs. Cog. I made it a corner tuck and message uh, cherish. Um, this is something I call a, uh, what, did they, uh, what did I call that? Oh, I can't remember. Dangle. I call them dangles for some reason. They're just a cluster of little um, images that I put together to decorate this clip. I think every marriage is a journey. Here's a little map. And this little gal looks like she could be a flower girl. <coughs> And everybody knows the message, um, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. And that decorates this envelope, tuck spot. There's a place up here to tuck. An old Parcheesi game tie or picture. Some more tuck spots. Romance little corner tuck with decorated with uh, rickrack happiness these look like they could be um, bridesmaids um, another image from Mrs. Cog and another one and here's another writing a journal within a journal space. <clears throat> Another image from the scrapbook. Uh, these must have been collector cards for the Arm & Hammer products. 
this one as well. I think they're like the tea cards you find in other places, but this, this was from the Arm & Hammer Company. Another image from Mrs. Cog. Uh, here's a little charm, a heart charm that hangs off of the safety pin. More lace, more writing space. And this was on the other side of it, another little place to journal, a little tag that says treasure. Treasure one another. And then she can put <clears throat> a photo here or leave it blank. It's nicely decorated. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for looking.